we humbly thank you. We glorify you. We give your name the praise. Why don't the people of God just put their hands together and just bless the Lord. Lord, we thank you for the breath that we have at this moment. Your exhale has become our inhale. said let there be you said let there be and God we thank you for the light we thank you for the water we thank you for the land we thank you for the fruits we thank you God hallelujah for every living creature that you spoke we thank you God because you said let us make man in our image and we thank you for, now, for allowing us to look just like you so today God I'm standing on the promises of the Lord today today God for your word says speak those things that are not as though they were I speak strength into the sick and shut in right now. God, that you will undergird, that you will strengthen so that the desires of their heart will manifest. Strengthen Pastor Terry, oh God, Jesse. Strengthen right now, God. Strengthen my mother. Strengthen my mother. God, I pray that you would touch her body, touch her mind, regulate her blood right now. You are amazing. So I'm asking God that you would just continue to do amazing things in this community. I'm asking that you will flood this community with love, joy, peace, and happiness. I'm asking that God that you would invade the lives of those that are lost right now with peace and long debility. I'm asking God that you would do a new thing right now in this land. I'm asking God that you would change the status of those that are broken. I'm asking God that you would do it again for those that are unsure. I'm asking God that you would go into the doubter's mind 
children and, and change their situations around. I'm asking that you will give help to the hopeless. I'm asking God that you will reposition your people for greatness. You are victorious. You have made us into conquerors. We will rise above this and that. We are bigger than that thing that had us bound. I'm sure now that God, that if it has anybody ever been, be, been, been for me, for us, it has been you. I have the insurance that I have a rock. For Jesus is my rock. I am assured now that I have a shield. For Jesus is my shield. I'm assured now that I have a help. For he is a very present help in the time of need. I am assured that I have a confidant. Woo! For he promised never to leave me nor forsake me. I am assured now that I can walk by faith and not by sight. I'm assured now that the substance of my faith comes from you. I'm assured now that God, we stand on holy ground. And that God, as you pour into us, in this service on today, God, we are sure that you will get all the praise. We are sure that you will get all the glory. For all the glory belongs to you. You are amazing.
Lord, send your rain, 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 send it, send it, send it, send it, God, send it, let it pour in this place, let it rain on our spirits, let it, send it, send it, Lord, send it, send it, let it rain on our pain today. Let it rain, God. Heal our bodies. Let it rain on our situations. Let it rain. We need your rain to settle the devil's dust. Send your rain, Lord. Send your rain. Somebody say, send it. Send it, Lord. Send it on down. Let your Holy Ghost come on down today. I 
fill me up, God, till I'll overflow. You know, every once in a while, we'll get rainstorms that will cause the dams to be breached. And it will cause the waters to proceed unto the land and flood communities. And it will go down into our drinking waters and cause a mix-up. Our heart goes out to those down in Jackson, Mississippi whose water has been that has been, hallelujah, infected by the rain has been breached. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, that even now their situation is turning around. I thank you for those that participated in bringing bottled water down to those communities, down to those families, those communities that has been affected. That even now, God, you are so amazing that you extend it the love from different states and communities to supply that community for God it wasn't just a state of emergency on that town it was a state of emergency that God that you send your help and you send your help and we give you glory for that and we say thank you for that in the name of Jesus somebody give God praise
can just fill me up. Oh God, I know there'll be an overflow. I just want to run over. I want to run over until other people's lives are changed. I want to run over until other people are healed. I want to run over to people I delivered. I want to run over to people's situations changed. I want to run over God. All they see is you, God. I want. Just give God hand praise. When we ask God for something like that, somebody say like that. What happens is when God starts filling you up, he starts deleting stuff. Because when we're asking God to fill us up till we overflow, God said that when I start filling you, I'm going to start eliminating some things that have been downloaded in your spirit that has been keeping you from flowing. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said that when you run over, he's going to make sure all of that stuff that has been deleted out of you won't flow into nobody else. Uh, hallelujah. Because we're asking God for something that is only affecting You allow God to move those things out of your life. Somebody say, Move it, God. Woo. I need two or three people to say, Fill me, Lord. Fill me, Lord. Fill me, Lord. Fill me, Lord. Fill me. get lost in that and then it just 
Christ be wonderful. Because God is causing somebody to run over right now. God is saying it's going to work in your favor and it's going to work out in your favor just lift our hands God said it's going to work out in your favor it's going to work out in your favor what you feel right now. Mm. I love this. Come on, give God another hand praise. Somebody say nine years. Nine years. It's been nine years. I never would have made it if it wasn't for the Lord. I never would have made it. I, we, didn't, we didn't make it this far. I mean, it's, it's just been because of the God been on our side. Hallelujah. But one thing I've learned is that if you speak it, God will do it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, speak it, God will do it. Speak it, God will do it. You speak it, God will do it. I, I'm going to tell you something. Nine years is a wonderful thing, but I'm going to let you know a secret. I'm going to let you know a secret right now. Leadership isn't easy. Come here, honey, if you don't mind. Giving me that beautiful look. I love her bubbly, googly eyes. I'm going to let you know something that ministry for nine years has been wonderful. But I'm going to let you know something to all the leaders especially those of you that are leaders and married. You operate in deaconship, ministerial. Everything that you accomplish or attempt to accomplish comes with a fight. That while we are fighting to do ministry the enemy fights against us y'all don't understand y'all, y'all hear what I'm saying y'all under, y'all, see some of y'all probably don't understand this see Joseph when you start wanting to change your prayer life and start praying and reading more the enemy would attack your marriage am I right am I right am I right the moment we decided to start ministry. The enemy has been trying to do this. Every attack has been a stretch. Has been a stretch. I don't think y'all, some of y'all probably don't understand me. Has been a stretch. And God said, if there's no stretching, hallelujah. See, because while the enemy is pulling you, the 
what the enemy don't realize is that God has a plan for the poor. God has a plan for the stretch. Hallelujah. Because we made it nine years. God said, now that we're being stretched and we're letting the people know that the marriage has been stretched. Hallelujah. Even while we walked in the church, smiling, but crying on the inside. Smiling, hallelujah, but hurting on the inside. Smiling, hallelujah, but fighting on the inside. But God says, stay in the strength. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I thank God for the boomerang effect that while the enemy is stretching me, I'll slingshot my wife that way. And when she get there, she'll slingshot me this way. And then I'll pull. My God, my God, my God. Woo! Yes, Lord. So I thank God. Hallelujah. For being a great marksman. Hallelujah. Listen. Paul says I press towards the mark of the prize which is your high calling which is in Christ Jesus. He didn't say that I run. He said I press because there's going to be some opposition. There's going to be some things in your way that you got to uh, uh, press your way through. Press your way through. Yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God, my God. There's something about the nine years that I'm excited about. Because we got one more year, we'll be ten. Somebody give God praise. We will say things like, when the birthdays come around, we give nine little spankings. And we'll say a pinch to grow an inch. Hallelujah. That first year was a rough year, but God, I believe it was that second week we came in and we started speaking things into the church. I got some old videos I had looked back on and I saw myself sitting behind a, the old pulpit with a, with a piano on the side and uh, we had Jeff sitting right there playing the piano. How, we didn't have room for no drums. But when we got down in that living room and dining room, oh my God, the saints of God. See, I wasn't ashamed to tell people we worship in the house. Hallelujah. We worship in the living room and dining room of an old apartment house. The house was built in the late 1800s. But God. That I was afraid that when the saints got to jumping, I, I thought the floor might as well cave in. But God. Pastor Charles, I even
even got afraid. I said, God, if you let the Holy Ghost come in here, we're going to have to hold the people back. We're going to have to hold the people down. But because we just had just enough room for our elbows. But every once in a little while, like it unto every Sunday morning, we'll get to praising and worshiping God. And somebody will jump up and go, whoa! Hey! And get to jumping up in their seat. Get to dancing. Get to shouting. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Yeah. And begin to fall out on the floor. We didn't have this much room then. And when they fell, somebody had to catch them. So we had to run back there to keep them from hurting themselves. But God... One Sunday, we were worshiping year one. I never experienced it before, but man got the Holy Ghost. I think Miss Davis was singing a song, and when she got the singing, man just went back. I left the church that day. I had a blessed lip because when the Holy Ghost came in, man just couldn't contain it. There's something about the Holy Ghost that when your knees are hurting, you'll jump up and down. When your head is hurting, you'll stop shouting. Nobody looked at anybody. Nobody talked about anybody. Hallelujah. It was just praise and worship on another level. But somebody shout, God did it. spouse later on I want you to grab your spouse by the hand and just sling them to the next level and watch them pull you back to the next level stop resisting deacon hallelujah she trying to pull you to the next level stop resisting slingshot your wife slingshot your husband stop Yes, Lord. My God, my God, my God. We walk in authority. This is my queen. I am her queen. Yes, Lord. My, 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 my. Yeah, 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 yeah.
But next week is the real celebration. Mm. Yes, Lord. Somebody give God praise. Mm. Yes, Lord. I love about it right there. I love that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And see, I'm going to let you know something else. When God, when you're doing ministry, whether you're doing praise and worship, God will cause your slingshot effect to affect other people. Because you, 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 you can't be, it ain't just for you. But I, I, I believe in taking my children by the hand and throwing them into the next level. Hallelujah. I, I believe that when, when, when I reach them, I can reach somebody else. And then I grab old Charles by the hand and I pull him to the next direction. Hallelujah. And then when, when he see I'm down and he know I need a boost. And then he'll grab me by the hand and he'll sling me to the next See, it's called a helping hand. You help somebody. Amen. Look, we got... We, yes, Lord. Nine years. Yes, Lord.
God, my God. Somebody shout, yes! Yes, Lord! Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes, I'll obey. Yes! My soul says yes. My spirit says yes. Yes when I'm up. Yes when I'm down. Yes! Yes, Lord. 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 This may just be just a worship service today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Haya Boshata. love you. Listen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. you Lord I love you Lord I love you Lord Jesus, you made a 
When my back was against the wall And it looked as if it was over You Somebody say, I'm standing here only because. I'm standing here only because. I'm standing here only because you made a way. I'm living only because you made a way. You made a way. We're still married because you made a way, God. Only because. You.
listen. That's 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 that, that's that rammer word from God. I said, God, that's God saying, look, I I come to interrupt your service. I come to interrupt your service on today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall by your power. Come on, come on. Perform miracles. You move nothing. Now y'all give God praise right there. Listen. Ooh. Only because you made a way. <laughs> I'm standing here, God. Only. Ooh. I'm standing here only. Thank you. Thank you. I'm standing here only. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody can pause with me, and I'm standing here only because. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of y'all can point to yourself. Only God. I'm only standing. Only because, God, you made a way. When my back was against the wall and it looks like thing, it was over. You. Only you, Jesus. Only you, Jesus. I'm standing here only. Because you made a way. You made a way. You made a way. You made a way. Somebody got a point to him and say, but you made a way. You made a way. You made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. Don't know how, but you did it. He did it, he did it, he did it. Don't I don't know, know how, but you did it. Anybody can touch and agree on that? Don't know how. I don't know how, I don't know how, but you did it. So now, now, I'm standing here, not because of my past, not because of nobody else, only because you made a way, you made survivors that you made a way Deacon Cannon guess what he what you made a way three years ago he tried to take you out but you Try, but you. 
right back. You made a way. You made a way. Listen. You made a way. Listen. Hope. When you think about, and when I think about what you went through, you and your husband, stand up, Amanda. When your husband wanted to give up, he said, What should I do? I said, You pray for her. And your husband say, but man, it just don't seem like it's getting better. It don't seem like it's getting better. I say, that's when you pray even harder. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So now when you look at your wife, you can point to God and say, you made a way. You made a way. I was looking at my daughter yesterday and I'm going to tell you something some of us we have spiritual scars some of us have scars on our bodies that we're not ashamed of my daughter had her sleeves off and if any of y'all noticed y'all saw marks on her arm If some of y'all understand what I'm talking about right now, if y'all seen them little cut marks on the arms right there, y'all gotta understand, hallelujah, how what place she was in at the time. If it wasn't for the prayers of the righteous, don't know how, but you did it. And so I applaud my daughter because most people would not wear short sleeve shirts when they have those kind of scars on them. She walked like she was a testimony. Hallelujah. And I applaud my daughter, hallelujah, because she not ashamed of what she been. That's it, hallelujah. When she wore her shirt off and you can see them scars, she said, simply telling somebody, this ain't what the story ends. Yeah. You made a way. You made a way. You made a way.
this and just give God a praise. in this room. Ooh. The Holy Ghost is in this room. Ooh. See, because I can look out in this room right now, those of you that God, that has been here since day one. And if you look at yourself real good in the mirror you can say to yourself God has made me over 
Hallelujah. Listen, I want, I want to get past one step so we can go ahead and get into the service. Because I want to do something. This, every, every year, this is the ninth year. And, and, and on that ninth year, that first, that first day that we had service in that living room, dining room, we didn't have a choir. But it was four individuals that were in the house on that day, including my daughters, they sung. But it was four more individuals, and that was Miss Davis, that was Merlin, and that was Tawanda and Cornell Rogers, Maine. I don't remember the song y'all sung, but y'all came up there and y'all sung one of them old songs. I believe y'all learned it from over at True Rock singing together. Y'all brought that song out. And I remember when I told Deacon that I said I was having my first service that I just, the only person I had to tell was Deacon. And he said, don't worry about it, Pastor. I didn't even declare myself pastor yet. And he said, don't worry about it, pastor. I'll get him there. And on that day, God said, I want you to get some chairs. That week earlier, God had me go out and get some chairs. And God showed me that week. I was looking all over Facebook for chairs, and I didn't know, Marketplace and i given up because I ain't seen none. But God said, go back on there. And God showed me the, the number 21. And when I opened up on Facebook, there was a guy selling 21 chairs. And I went and bought those 21 chairs. Remember my wife went out there, saw the 21, gave him, we gave the man the money for the 21 chairs. And on that Sunday, it was 21 people. And I said, but God, somebody give God praise right now. So I trusted him on the notion that when he said do, you better do it. Amen. 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 Let's, let's do a ministry of giving at this time. We're going to be a blessing unto the Lord. Hallelujah. God is an amazing God. He has some, so much in store. And I was just wondering, like, before I bring a word, if I can just get a little bit extra. Some of you all that's not even in the choir, praise team, that you come up and sing a song with, with those praise team, amen. Y'all go back and sing something simple, something, something that y'all all know, amen. Hallelujah. And if man catch the Holy Ghost, just let them go in on it. I don't want nobody getting hurt. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. God be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's give God another praise. I, I need an envelope if you don't mind.
Follow the direction of the usher, amen. I want to thank those of you that are watching via Facebook Live. And you're giving through Giveify. And those of you that are here that give through Giveify, make sure you put your name on the envelope and where it's coming from. Amen. My grandson, he came up to me the other day and he started telling me what he wanted. And I'm sitting up there listening. He was saying it so fast. I want Paw Patrol. I want uh, muscle cars. I want this, that. And he was saying it so fast. And I'm like, okay. We'll get it on your birthday. That he don't know when his birthday is next year. But Jeffrey starts school next week. His first day of school. His first day. Amen. Thank you. I want to thank you for being so good to me. Amen. Amen. Next week, let's get ready and take this worship to the next level also. Amen. God is good. <laughs> oh. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Mm. Pastor Charles, I'm going to ask you to pray over that, the offering. Amen. If we could stand to our feet and point our hand this way. Gracious God, our Father, we thank you, God, for the gifts and the giver. We thank you for every seed that's sown to the ministry, God, that today you release a blessing, God, the covenant of blessing upon every individual, God, those who had and had not to give, that you bless them anyhow, God, even for the, the attendance of their heart to want to give. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, oh God, right now, that debt's being canceled, bills being paid in full, that we live in the overflow. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, oh God, that you caused the, the windows of heaven to open up, oh God, and rain down blessings. We don't have enough room to receive. And we want to just give you thankful, God. want to be thankful with a thankful heart. To come before your presence, oh God, because of what you've been doing in our lives, what you've already done, and we thank you in advance. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Come on, let's give God a great big praise as we remain standing on our feet. Look, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I need a little room. As a matter of fact, I'm going to call my wife towards. Come on, honey, one more time, if you don't mind standing with me, because I can't do this by myself, because if we're going to build something, we got to build it together. Amen. Mm. If we're going to take over some territories, we got to take it over together. Amen. Hallelujah. If we're going to stomp over some devil's head, we got to stomp over some devil's head together. Hallelujah. Woo. Marriage calls for teamwork, not I work. This is an I team. Hallelujah. The A. Woo. 
I go on, but anyway, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to just warm, warm, just warm up just for a second. Just, I'm going to give you a second to warm up. Ooh. And we just going to stretch just like that, honey. Lord, enlarge my territory. Lord, enlarge my territory. I said, Lord, enlarge my territory. We're going to say it one more time. Lord, enlarge my territory. Now, won't God do it? Won't God do it? Won't God do it? Now give God a praise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Lord. Mm. Let's give him another hand praise. We're going to do any announcements today. All right. I got the first announcements. I want to say, I'm going to give y'all a warning. Amen. That I should have took heed of, but I didn't. Turn my back on it, and it stung me in the back. That was a bee, bee huh? <laughs> they were around, but I'm telling you, don't play around on bees. I'm telling you, they'll sneak up on you. I think that bee probably remember me from a while ago. Because in that same neighborhood, in that same vicinity, one of them bees got mad at me and snuck up on me and stung me right in the nose. And then yesterday, one of his family members came and stung me right in the back. Now, I remember how playing with kids on a playground and how sometimes the little girls, they'll play with the boys and they'll smack them right in the spine. You ever got slapped in the spine and you just did that? That bee stung me back like that and I went like that and my gloves flew off my hands. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, I thought I got bit by a spider because there was more spiders around there than bees, so I wasn't worried about the... The, the, the bees, I was more worried about how many spiders I was seeing as me and my wife was pulling up these weeds and I thought a spider had crawled on my back and took revenge. <laughs> but God. <laughs> Amen. Somebody give God praise. Okay, there we go. Good afternoon, Redeemed Faith. Man, when God step in, he changed the program, don't he? He changes the program. Amen? So, um, I want to get to our announcements. Um, but before I do, I do, I'm asking for prayers for Aunt Helen. She is in the hospital. She has COVID. And she also need dialysis. So let's keep her in the prayers because we don't know. We didn't hear anything this morning, but we did hear yesterday. So let's just keep her and her family in prayers because she also lost a granddaughter last week. Amen. Um, minister, well, I announced as follows. Ministers, deacons, and deaconess class every first Sunday 
at 10 a.m. For those of you who didn't make it this morning, it's at 10 a.m. Amen? I'm not trying to call nobody out. I'm just being. <laughs> From the pastor, Sunday, um, sun, well, today actually is the ninth year anniversary, so let's give it up for Redeemed Sunday. <laughs> but we will be celebrating Sunday, September 11th, next Sunday, during the morning worship service. Um, it's going to be the ninth year anniversary. Bring out friends and family. Let's, let's celebrate this thing because nine years is a long time. It may be little to some people who celebrating, um, you know, 20 and 30 years, but nine years is a long time. You know, when God establishes something, he established it. And he put it together, he put it together. So it's not going to fail, no matter what people may think. It's not going to fail because God put it together. Amen? Um, and so also Saturday, September 17th, all of us research will be here doing lives for those who sign up and signing up people for the DNA testing. They'll be here starting at 9 a.m. Amen? So those of you who did your application already or did it online already with, with, with them, come out to do your testing for your DNA. And those who didn't, if you want to do it before they get here so that you can do labs, you can't go online and do it, and I can get you the, web, the website, okay? Amen. Sunday, September 25th, we will be having our member appreciation testimony service, and we'll be food after service. Um, this will happen during the morning service as well, amen? Church van service, if you ride the church van, please refrain from eating in it. We need to keep the van clean, so make sure you're cleaning up behind yourselves and your children. The food pantry... Haven't been open um, last month, but I believe we're going to open not not the second Tuesday, but maybe the fourth Tuesday. Um, but if anyone is in need of food or clothing before then, you can come down to the church Monday through Friday, anytime before two thirty, and I will be and I will be glad to help you. Amen. If you have any non-perishable food or donations, please feel free to bring it. Bring it if no one's at the church. You can leave it on that table. The ministry use that table all the time. They bring stuff. They take stuff. It's a beautiful thing. Y'all just don't know. Amen. Redeemed Faith Fellowship Men's Prayer Breakfast has been awesome. Every second Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon. If you want to get food for the mind, body, and soul, Redeemed Faith will be the place to be. The next breakfast is Saturday, September 10th. If you want to donate to the breakfast, please see either Minister Harris. Okay. Raise your hand, Minister Harris. Or Pastor Emory, raise your hand. And um, we're not going to sell candy today. But uh, we will be selling it soon. Minister Harris, you have an announcement? That's participating and coming into the men's prep breakfast that make one serving tray of something. So you can see me or Pastor Charles and write it down like if you're making eggs, the next person can bring bacon. The next person can bring the sausages. That way we won't have a rush time. We're going to try it this way. Everybody bring a dish and we all bring it together. We're going to try to get together and figure out who's bringing what so we don't have two of everything. Amen. Amen. Mr. Harris, you probably be in for a surprise. I don't think most of the men could cook, but <laughs> I apologize. But I'm sorry, that was just, I, I was just thinking out loud. I do apologize. Maybe they can. I don't know. But <laughs> any other announcements? <laughs> any other announcements? Any guests? Please stand. It is family here from the family reunion. We want to um, thank them for coming. Thank them for coming and celebrating God with us on today. And, um, you know, God is so good because when he brings a family together to celebrate family, it's to celebrate life instead of death, that's always a good thing, right? So many people say we always get together for funerals, but we got to see each other outside of funerals. 
And so it happened yesterday, and it was such a blessing. Amen? Hmm. Yep. You, yep. Thank you for coming, Odell. We appreciate you for coming. You kept your word. Good seeing you. Deborah, thank you for coming. Is there anybody else on the reunion? We just want to thank y'all for... Amen, everybody that came to the reunion. <laughs> These are your announcements. Please govern yourself accordingly. Amen. Come on, let's give God a hand praise, another hand praise. Give God a praise. And I'm a... Uh, Ask for the choir. You're gonna be you're gonna be Deacon County. While they getting coming on up, you can say something. Come over here. Amen. Make sure to put together something. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Here you go. It ain't going to take me long what I got to say, and I just want to thank God, give the Lord honor that head of my life, Pastor Choice Lady, Pastor Todd Ministers, and everybody that's here. You know, I just want to say one thing this morning. I was watching this uh, one preacher on the TV right now. I heard that song. And I was just, it was just so amazing. And I said, Lord, I know, you know, like I called Pastor Charles and God just took over. And what I mean by that, he's doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing right now because he's covering. He's covering the church as a whole. And look what he's doing. He's bringing them more and more. You know, something that's starting me a little bit, I, like Pastor, we got to tell some of the young men that, you know, weapons don't belong in the church. But you know what? That wasn't nothing but the devil, you know, let me tell you why. God had us covered, you know what I mean? God had us covered, but what I'm trying to say, when God gets to working, the devil try to come in and, and, you know, and change your mind and scare you off. But you know what? I thank God that he loves us so much. He loves us so much. Look what he's doing. He brought us to nine years. To nine years and they weren't easy. Nine years and it wasn't easy. You know, and that's why I was saying he's making a way and he's turning around. He turned around in our situation. That's what I that's what I wanted to say. Get a long time now, y'all, y'all. So if we mess up something, then y'all just clap your hand and come on, go with us, okay? All right. Lord, you know that I'm your child, and I'm doing the best that I can. While my way it gets so hard, you know I just don't understand. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I need. Yo. 
Lord, you know that I'm your child And I'm doing the best that I can While my way gets so hard You know I just don't understand Oh, Lord Oh, Lord, I need you to hold my hand Right now, right now, right now, right I'm gonna continue to run for Jesus Even if I have to run alone Because it's my determination To make God's beautiful heaven my home Oh Lord, oh, I need you to hold my hand As I travel from place to place, many times I'm treated so bad. But when I stop and think about, I can't miss a friend that I never had. Oh Lord, oh Lord, yeah. I need you to hold my hand. I'm going to continue to run for Jesus Even if I have to run alone Because it's my determination To make God's beautiful heaven my home Oh Lord, oh Lord hey, I need you to hold my hand I said, hold me, hold me, Lord Jesus, Jesus, hold me, hold me, Lord Jesus, Jesus, hold me, hold me, Lord Jesus, Jesus. The reason why, hold me, I need you to hold me, Lord. Jesus. The reason why, hold me, I need you to hold me, Lord. Jesus. If you don't hold me, Lord, hold me. I surely Jesus. Rock me, rock me, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Rock me, rock me, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Hold me, hold me, Lord, hold me, Lord. Hold me, hold me, hold me. Oh, hold me, Lord. hold me. The reason why, hold me. The reason why, hold me. The reason why, Lord. Hold me. I need you to hold me. Lord, I can't make it hold me. on my own, Lord. Hold me. I need you to hold me. hold me. I need you to rock me. Hold me. I need you to hold me. Hold me. Lord, hold me, Lord. Hold me. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I need you to hold my hand.
on now, y'all. How many know the blood still works? If you know the blood still works, put your hand together and help us out, y'all. Y'all act like y'all don't know what we up here talking about. If we was out at the street, we'd be partying, having a good time. So come on in there, praise God.
it would never, never lose its power. back there. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's give God a great big hand praise for that. It was good to see that one more time. It would never, never lose its power. The blood still works. Oh, Anybody know anything about that? Anybody know anything about that? Has it been working for you? 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 It, for you? it would never. See, do I got any blood pleaders out there? Is there any blood pleaders out there? Is there any blood pleaders out there? Have you ever found yourself pleading the blood over your family late in the midnight hour? I plead the blood of Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got any mothers out there that had to wake up in the midnight hour not knowing where your children was and and just started praying. Uh, The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Woo! Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We done made some devils mad today. We done made some devils mad today. I tell you. I tell you. But I hear the Lord saying, He done shut them devils down. Yes, He did. Hallelujah. Listen, I I, I just want just a few moments. I'm not going to be long. We're going to be out of here in a minute because, you know, I. Ah, let the church say amen. Come on, let the church say amen. Hallelujah. Listen, I, I, I was, while we were singing earlier, I just felt this in my spirit. And it was when we were just worshiping and just, it just felt God going, there's a song, I love you, Lord. And I just felt God just kept saying that just as I was telling God, yes, Lord. He was saying, do you love me? I said, I love you, Lord. And then as I kept saying, yes, Lord. He said, how much do you love me? I said, I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. And if you would help me with it, I love you, Lord. And I live my voice to worship you, O oh, my soul. Rejoice, take joy, my King. Hey, hey, hey.
something we can do something different God is speaking God has spoken in this place today yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, just this word spirit today but I'm going to read the scripture that we normally read every Sunday just so you can have a word in your belly because God has spoken he's spoken in our worship he's spoken through our pain 
He's spoken through our tragedies. As we're standing, we're going to read this scripture. St. Mark's 11 and 22. I may expound on some characteristics of this text just so I can empower you for the week that we have in front of us. But I have to ask you this question. Is there anything too hard for God? I want to hear from that person that said, yes, there is. We ain't got nobody like that in here, do we? Woo! Somebody say nothing. It's too hard for God. Verse 22 reads as follows. St. Mark's 11 verse 22. And Jesus answering, Jesus answering said, unto them, said unto them, have faith in God. Faith in God. Now notice in this text, real softly, musician, notice in the text that he said, have faith in God. Woo. Woo. My God. My now the Bible says, at the name of Jesus, demons would tremble. But in this text, he says, have faith in who? Amen. For verily, I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, I want y'all to be active with this because how many of y'all got some mountains? Hallelujah. How many of y'all got some mountains? You need God to move for you on today. Woo! I hear the Lord saying, speak unto your mountain. So listen, I'm preparing y'all for a fight. He said that whosoever shall say unto this mountain. Listen. Listen. He said that whosoever shall say unto this mountain. I want to show you something that some of us we ain't caught yet. God just showed me something. When I recognize your mountain. I'm going to speak to it for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I recognize your mountain, and if you haven't spoken to it yet, I'm going to speak to your mountain. Can I say something to your mountain? Can I speak to your mountain for you? Hallelujah. Is it okay? Is it okay? See, every once in a while, we got to say, excuse me, can I speak to your mountain for you? He said that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Aunt Mamie, we got to move some things. And sometimes we got to move some things for somebody else. Listen, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. Look, can I help you just for a moment? Because I see the problem that you have before you is so big that it look impossible to move. But Pastor Charles, listen, can I help you move this? to there so I'm going to take your mountain Here, hold this I'm going to take your mountain out of your hand and I'm going to slingshot it into the sea so that you can no longer can you catch that can you catch that I'm going to take your problem out of your hand and I'm going to deal with it for you. Woo! 
So be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. So I'm not only going to remove it, but I'm going to speak to it. You see that? You see that? You see that, Sandra? I'm going to speak to your mountain. The biggest thing and the hardest thing that we may encounter is those things that we think that is too big for God to move. And because it's one person. But the Bible said when two or three are touching and agreeing, hallelujah, in my name, one can chase a thousand. But some of us are dealing with 10,000 devils. uh, And I need at least two people to stand in agreement with me to help me move. See, because Pastor Charles, the mountain, what the mountain has done, it has established itself in your way. And sometimes things become so big that one person can't move it on his own. So I need at least two or three people. That can stand with me up against this mountain and speak to that mountain with me and say, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. Let's read. And shall not doubt in his heart. Now, look, in order for me to get you to believe. I can't be a doubter. That goes right back to the character of a Christian. If you see me doubting, then you're not going to believe what I'm trying to help you believe. Listen. But shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. I want to help you for a minute because today it's coming to pass. Woo! I just hear a few people clapping to that, but I need a whole bunch of people that believe God that it's coming to pass. Look at your neighbor and say, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming to pass. Now, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Old song said, I got just what I wanted from the Lord. Ooh, I got just what I wanted. I got just what I wanted. I got just what I wanted from the Lord. Read. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that you receive them and ye shall have them. That scripture, that scripture, and that that, that, that paragraph that started said, therefore, who's speaking? Jesus is speaking. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, How many of y'all got desires? Come on now. Don't be afraid. I got a desire. Hallelujah. You got a desire, honey? Lift that hand. I'm going to be right there. We're going to touch and agree on that desire right there. Some of us want to keep our desires a secret. I don't want nobody to know I'm desiring something from the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he's saying, what things soever ye desire when ye pray. Believe that you should have. So he's saying, I need to start believing I already got it. Ooh. Let, let, raise your hands again if you desire something. Now reach up and grab it. 
you already got it because you already desired it. Woo, hallelujah. And he says, believe that you receive them and ye should have them. I ain't got it yet, but he's telling me to believe something that I already got it. So I'm believing God today that this week somebody's going to receive something. Whew. Lift your hand if you want it. If you want it, lift your hand if you want it. Hallelujah. Now here comes the... This is an easy part. For most people it's hard. Because unforgiveness plays a role in getting what you want. If you can't let go, God can't let it go. Let me say that again for those of you that are still holding on to some stuff. If you can't let it go, then God can't let it go. Your desire is being held up by what you won't let go. Am I helping somebody today? Your desire is being held up by what you won't let go. Let's read. And when you stand praying, forgive. If you have ought against any, he's not just saying one person, he says anybody. That's your father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. Look. How many of y'all, I mean, do, do you really, really want something from God today? Are you willing to let go something so you can get something from God on today? Hmm. Listen. How many of y'all waited on something to come in the mail and it just took forever to come? Hmm. And we waited on that thing, but then guess what? God showed up after we let go something. That thing was able to get to us. Let me read. But if ye did not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive you your trespasses. My God, my God, my God. Somebody need to shout, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I need for you. I know you've been shouting all morning, but let it go. Let it go. I want you to repeat this prayer with me. Lord, forgive me of all my sins, knowing and unknowingly. I forgive those who sinned against me. Now, Lord, come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. I receive you and I will allow you to guide me, to lead me. And I thank you for the blessings that follow. I thank you. Lay hands on yourself. I thank you for healing me. I thank you for delivering me. I thank you for saving my family. I thank you for the job promotion. I thank you for the house. I thank you for the car. I thank you for my son. I thank you for my daughters. I thank you for my doctors. I thank you for the teachers that will teach my children. I thank you for it is done in Jesus' name. Now let the church say amen. Hallelujah. Give God another praise. Remain standing for the benediction. We're going to get ready and go home. Father, as we get ready and leave this place, but never from your presence. May your rest rule and abide with 
each of us until we meet again. Let the church say amen. Let's give God praise in this place today. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I laid my burdens down. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I laid my burdens down, burdens down.